Welcome to Photoshop CS3 with Philip Andrews. Photoshop can be a pretty hungry beast in terms of resources it uses to edit or enhance your pictures. So one of the things that you can do to help speed up Photoshop is to make sure that it's set up correctly in the first place. And thankfully inside Photoshop CS3 if we go to the Edit Preferences menu you'll notice a new Preferences dialog called Performance. Now some of the options available in this Performance dialog we've seen before but a lot of them have been rationalized or or made easier to use or easier to understand and it's great that they're all together in the same dialog so that we can tweak Photoshop without having to bounce around between um, a range of different settings. So let's start at the top and have a bit of a look. Memory usage is really important. The available RAM on this laptop machine is 768. It's got a total of 1 gig but some of that's being used by the operating system or other programs that I have running. So Photoshop provides us with not just an indication of how much RAM is available uh, but it takes away what needs to be used by other programs or what is being used by other programs which is great so that we're not over um, selecting the amount of RAM available and making the operating system run slow because we're forcing Photoshop to hog as much RAM as possible. We get an ideal range select um, option here so it shows us the amount of RAM that can be selected, the upper and lower amounts of RAM that can be selected for your specific machine to give the best performance. Notice it's not the total amount of RAM because there's still other functions that need to happen outside Photoshop. And it also has a slider control that allows us to select the precisely the amount of RAM that we've got available that we can use. Below that we've got scratch disk selection. Notice this laptop has two different drives which is great because scratch drives should always be nominated um, on, a, on a hard disk or a drive that's separate to the one that's being used by the operating system. In this Windows machine the operating system is on the C drive so I've selected the D drive for the scratch disk. Scratch disk is essentially that part of um, the hard drive that Photoshop uses as extra RAM fake RAM but extra RAM when you run out of the RAM that's stored on your machine. It's always best to have as much RAM as possible and on production machines it's not unusual now for people to have two, four or even eight gigs of RAM. But on laptops in particular using some of the hard drivers extra RAM means that you can continue working even if you've used all of the RAM that's available. Photoshop just uses part of the hard drive space as extra RAM. It works slower than normal RAM because a hard drive um, memory read and write access is slower than uh, RAM read and write access but it actually uh, does provide the ability to continue working. Top right hand corner of the dialog we have the history states and the history states be careful about the number that you select here by default uh, often machines are set up with 20 history states this means that it's saving 20 different versions or the last 20 steps that you've performed on your image which can take up a lot of um, space. If you've got several images open and you perform several different types of um, editing or enhancement steps to those images, well then you can be using a lot of RAM in just storing up the history states. Here I've only selected five because I figure if I, had, if I don't know that I've made a mistake within five steps, well then I, I shouldn't really um, be playing with Photoshop. So keep an eye on what you're doing and make sure that you reduce your history states to the level that's workable but is not too outrageous. Next we have the cache levels and this is the number of times that the image data is actually stored in cache. Um, we use this cache levels to increase or improve the ability of Photoshop to redraw um, the screen. So if you choose um, a high cache level then you'll get better screen drawing speed but it takes up more um, space 
Um, if you use a lower cache level, then you can use this for better quality images. So it reproduces the image on screen more accurate, accurately with the lower quality or the lower settings. And the last thing, and this is new for Photoshop CS3, is the ability to use some of your um, graphics cards abilities to help speed up uh, previewing, in, especially in Bridge, and um, some of the functions inside Photoshop as well. So here I've got Enable 3D Acceleration, which enables the graphics card to um, help Photoshop when it's actually previewing or showing images on screen as well. So keep in mind that after you've made these changes you need to click OK then reboot Photoshop or restart Photoshop so that those changes can take effect. But this should provide you with um, a much more efficient uh, Photoshop if you set up these controls or settings first.